Computing, in my opinion, is uh, one of the major technological innovations of today's world. Be it business, industry, or simply the way we live, computing has played a pivotal role. So much so that today, nothing is possible without computing. It has been and will continue to be a debate. How much is it right for us to be so much dependent upon computing? But as critical as it might seem, computing has been a key integral part of our lives and will continue to be so. Considering this fact, we can imagine the scope of computing and many exciting opportunities that it brings to the new generations like ours. Even for the third world countries like ours, where not many long ago, domains like engineering and medicine were predominant, we can see computing emerging as one of the top choices of the new generation. Well, why not so? All you need to be is interest driven, which is a bit of logic, and that's all you have to invest. As already told, especially for the third world countries like ours, where economy is cramped, political turmoils are evident every now and then, and education is nothing but an utter chaos. Picking a right path for your career is obviously of a major concern. No wonder, every one of you wants to go abroad in pursuit of a good education and better career. However, one also has to consider the fact that computing has been nothing but a boon for a cramped economy of third world countries like us. We can see some of our neighboring countries like India and China prosper radically due to their computing prospect, especially due to the fact that computing is all about my investment. Better economy means holistic development of a nation, better opportunities for youths, and in turn, better lifestyle. It's a dream for countries like ours, but we jolly well can realize it. Studying computing is not hard, uh, in the sense it's more practical than any subject you choose. But of course, one needs to be extremely interest driven. You of course cannot sit back and expect to be taught this subject. You need to be exposed to the innovation, the real time implementers and basically do it yourself. Self research and self study are very important as nothing is more helpful than knowing the stuff yourself. However. The help you are offered from the professors and the learning environment is also very significantly valuable. One problem of the way Nepali colleges teach computing has been the same. The contents are outdated, you hardly get any help from the professors, and the worst, you can only dream of exposing yourselves to the innovation. This particularly has been one of the main reasons of Islington College. If you are interested in this subject, it's evident now that you can dream of making a good career in computing and help prosper your nation eventually will realize that dream.